Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday, the 6th of December 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from the first book of Peter, chapter 3, verse 8, which reads, Finally, all of you live in harmony with one another. Be sympathetic, love as brothers and sisters, be compassionate and humble. When we learn to drive, for those of us who drive, when we learn to drive, we probably all received one piece of advice. And that was, watch your blind spot. As it turns out, that is brilliant advice and something to hang on to for the rest of your life. A blind spot is where something may be at the side of your car that you cannot see in the side mirrors. But it does, this is not only applicable to cars and vehicles, this is also applicable to our own lives as well, because we've all got blind spots in our lives, flaws or faults that we cannot see, habits that we don't even recognize that we might have. And each of us needs a Mike or a Luke. Now, they are very good friends of mine who have both, both have the gift of being wise, blunt, and kind. Well, not always kind, but they're kind as well. And I know that they have my good in mind, when either of them call me out on something that they may see going sideways in my life. The question is, will I respond with humility and receive their correction? A person being formed in humility is one who receives and even pursues correction. Why? Because the humble person recognizes the presence of blind spots. And scripture instructs us, all of you should be of one mind, sympathize with each other, love each other as brothers and sisters, be tender-hearted and humble, and keep a humble attitude. In short, having a humble attitude means I welcome another set of eyes on my life. Not prying eyes or nosy eyes, but eyes that can see things that I may even overlook. However, beyond thinking rightly about myself, a humble attitude changes the way I respond in general. Humility requires us to admit that we do not see the full picture about ourselves, about God, or even the world. My dear friends, how about you? Do you know where your blind spots are? Would you be open to asking a friend to help point them out for you? And when they point out the blind spots, would you consider their guidance or go on your own way? After all, we don't like to be told what to do when it comes to our lives and dealings. The saying goes, it's my life. I will do whatever I want. <laughs> That's not a very good piece of advice. Trust a trusted friend to guide you and to show you those blind spots. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.